What's going on guys, Greggles TV. I'm gonna show you how to record your gameplay and broadcast it with your Nvidia Shield TV and that's all you need. You don't need any extra hardware or anything else. First thing you wanna do is press and hold on the home button, which is also known as the circle button on your Nvidia Shield TV controller. So press and hold that. And this menu is gonna pop up. Now this menu has a bunch of different options on here. The option at the top where the microphone is, if you press that, it's gonna mute your microphone on your Nvidia Shield TV so that when you talk, it will not be heard if you have a line going through it. So if you click it and there's a line going on it, you'll see Michael's enabled for next recording for broadcast. The one at the top in the middle is the chat function so you can chat with your viewers that are watching your Twitch broadcast. So you press that on or off, if there's a line going through it, it's off. If you turn it on, chat enabled for next broadcast. Next, you have the settings button. So if you click that settings and go into Twitch settings, for instance, and you can log into your Twitch broadcast. Twitch settings, once you're logged into your Twitch account, it's gonna allow you to go through a couple things here. And you can say recommended best settings. The process could take up nine minutes. We'll stop any recordings. You're just gonna hit okay. And it analyzes your network while you do this to figure out what setting you should be broadcasting at. And there you go. It's telling me my recommended server to use is the US West San Francisco, California, because that's the closest one to me since I'm in San Diego, California. It's saying recommended quality you can do at high. So I'm going to hit use on that server location. It already chose one for me. So I'm just going to back out of that. But you can change your server if you want. Uh, you can pause the broadcasting when switching within apps. So uh, I kept it at yes, or you can turn to no so that it will show the apps that you're in. Or you can log out once you're logged into Twitch. You can change the quality of it from low, medium, or high. Ultra is gonna be reserved for only saving this locally. Instant replay, you can make an instant replay of your gameplay from anywhere from one minute all the way up to 20 minutes. Status, you can make everything either none, simple, or detailed. Mic volume. Now the mic volume again is going to come from your controller. So you can see it can make it really low or turn it off or make it really high up to 100%. Adjust layout. Adjust layout is going to be this thing on the bottom left here. And that's going to show anyone that's talking with you. You can make that bigger, smaller, move it wherever you want. See I'm moving it around here. So if you want to, you can move it. If you want to make it larger so that maybe you can see it better, uh, you just use LT and RT to make that bigger. And you can move it around with the right joystick. Really easy, really simple, but also very functional. Let's try instant replay first. Instant replay is going to make an instant replay of a last amount of time that we chose. And again, anywhere from one minute to 20 minutes. So I'll click on that and turn that on. Instant replay is enabled now. So you can see right when I opened up that app, it's now recording. You can see in the top right, it's going at 720p. 30 frames a second at 3.3 megabytes. That's the quality of it. So it's capturing all this stuff right here, anything I open. So it's a good way to make a quick tutorial or show off some quick gameplay to your family and friends if you're playing a game or not. Capturing that music. I'm gonna press the home button to get out of it. And then if I press the home button again and I hold it, I should be able to turn this off. I'm going to hit save and you can see it's saving the recording and it's going to end up going into my photo. So I'll go into Google photos and videos right here into game recordings. I'm going to play this and it's asking which player I want to use. I'm just going to choose the regular video player. So there you go, I made it fast forward a little bit, but basically it does capture my voice, it does capture the gameplay at 720p when you have it on a high setting. Let's press and hold that home button again. I'm going to turn instant replay off. And then I'm going back in here again and I can do record. And when you choose record, record's going to save your gameplay again. I have it on high, so if I put it on ultra, I'll switch this to ultra just to show you what that looks like. do record start it's recording my gameplay at 1080p 60 frames per second 
That is awesome. And let's just go into something here. I'll go into Leo's Fortune. Just to give you an idea of how well it can record and also save the gameplay at the same time. Because that is very strenuous, especially for a computer. Alright, so I am playing now. And you can see there's no lag at all in this. It's recording the gameplay perfectly fine. It's really cool. It's definitely able to capture the gameplay and my voice and play the game all at the same time. So this is a really powerful system. It shows you how powerful it really is. Yeah. So I'll press and hold that home button. Brings this up. I'm going to stop the recording now. And it automatically saves us. So let's hit the home button. And go into our photos and videos. And there you go, game recordings. I have my two game recordings. This is the one I just played. So the recording started, it's now doing it. It's recording my at 1080p. Just to give you an idea. So there you go, it does it really awesomely. This is a crazy system. And this feature has been a, a, around a while. I'm just getting to it now because there's so much to do with this system. Let's press and hold that home button again. Again, it's going to bring this up. And now let's get into, let's do, before we do broadcast, why don't we do a screenshot? So if you're, let me load that game up again. Because you're probably not going to want to take a screenshot of the home. So if I'm playing this, I can press, I can do a screenshot right here. I'm going to press and hold that home button and do screenshot. And then I'm just going to click A again to save to the photos. And there you go. Screenshot save now. Go back into photos and videos. And here you go. My little screenshot that I took saved here. Press and hold the home button one more time. And then I'm going to do broadcast. I'm going to press start. And it brings this up. It's making me sign in with my username and password. So sign in with your Twitch username and password. And there you go. Connecting to Twitch. Broadcasting to Twitch now. So this is absolutely live on Twitch. Just so the people can watch me play this game. So that's really cool. I mean, like your Xbox can do this, your PS4 can do this, and they're supposed to do that because they're very powerful systems. This is an Android system that's able to do this, and it does it really well. Hmm. I wonder how he's. So you gotta works. love that. Oops. <laughs> so if someone comes into the chat, you can see that's gonna show up at the bottom there, and I'll be able to chat with them. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's this All right, and then when you're done, you just click on here and stop. All right, guys, so that is how you take screenshots, save and record instant replays and gameplays locally on your NVIDIA Shield and broadcast to Twitch. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. You do not need to have the Twitch app installed to do this, just FYI. You can do it all from the menu that pops up when you press and hold that home button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys down the road. Peace!